mom's uh, This is my first action. time doing this, so just lay easy on me. But. Why are you coming to speak? Woo! Yeah. yeah. So, my name is Hako. Yeah, so, <laughs> as growing adolescents, children, adults, and humans, we're encouraged to keep a balanced, environmentally healthy, and stable life. As I've grown up, I've seen many different tragedies on the media, as many of us have as well. We hear our families mumbling sometimes, oh, what a shame, but nothing is ever truly altered in the system. Now we're gathered here today, demanding for our rights as human beings to be protected as all humans should be for each other. With this march, we've made history. There have been hundreds of school shootings in the US, starting from the 19th century, from when there were schools. 300 in 2013, 18 from the beginning of 2018, 18, it's March. Most of these shootings are not publicized. Imagine how many are being impacted by it. And we're the succeeding generation to end it. It is our time to not only fix what our past generations could not, but also make it better for the future generations to come. Now we must know who we're up against. I'm not just talking about the president, the governors, the senators, NRA, no, not just them. We're against all of humanity's negative, violent side. Woo! Yeah! We want the commonly known higher ups to listen to our cries, shouts, and determinations in order to get this to work. In my eyes, I see we're conquering it as I speak. Lana Dosh, Donald Trump, Marco Rubio are just the very famous ones that claim they hate this too. But what are they truly doing to help us? Right. Nada. Do you think they grieve about this once they get home? No! no. Right. This march, this event is what makes us leaders. And we must remember to be aware and empathetic and leaders. We're fighting for the thousands of individuals who have died, been injured, and scarred by these shootings. We're fighting for our lives that have been having an unimaginable amount of potential in this world that we need. We're fighting for those who have died seeing these shootings who couldn't believe that it could get better. It's not a them thing, it's an us thing. Because it could happen to any of us. And it's up to where it's us who will take it or change it. We say enough imagining the future will, will be like and how amazing it could be if others could make it better. We're gonna do it ourselves, we're doing it now. And to those against us, open your eyes. Look at our eyes. Do not open arms with weapons, open them with love. Thank you.